From Punta Cana in the Dominican Republic, this is Poker Night. Hello and welcome to Poker Night in America presents the Party Poker Caribbean Poker Party. Filling in for Joe Stapleton and Chris Hansen, I'm Jesse Abramowitz alongside Jamie Kerstetter. And tonight we're bringing you the final table of the 25K Super High Roller. We began with 43, but now just six remain. Sam Trickett comes in as our chip leader with 11 million. Sam Greenwood, Stefan Sonheimer, and Adrian Mateos all around 8 million. And our resident shorties are Big Hooney, Chris Hoonichin, and Rafael Moraes. Four hundred K up top to first place. Action folding around. Rags on rags on rags. Over to Adrian Mateos. Two point nine. Two point nine. Yes, plus I put two hundred. Good start with the button. <laughs> right. People out there think you have like three million store in the button, all good. Nope. nope. Trick it. Just limps ace queen here in the small. <laughs> King nine six. Bottom pair for Greenwood. Check. Check. Checks through ace on the turn. Trick it now ahead. Two twenty-five is the price. I don't think Greenwood can fold here to one bet. I would have preferred the four o'clock start. What? I would have preferred the four o'clock start. We got a bet real yeah. late. Deuce on the river. Trick it will bet. Bet nine hundred. 900,000, and if you're wondering if everyone looks a little sluggish today, that's because there's parties here every night in Punta Cana, and last night was no exception. That's probably why Sam's wearing that hat. Greenwood does call and will pay off Trickett. And Sam Trickett is dressed in the Punta Cana style. Meanwhile, Sam Greenwood is dressed in library chic. Big Hooney under the gun here. So heads up to the flop. Four, four, nine, one club. Both players with backdoor draws. That's 200. Greenwood leads because why not? Fun. And Sotheimer does defend. Ace on the turn. In theory, in the big blind, you like to think if the small blind is limping into you, the ace is typically not in their limp range. Check. Now, queen on the river does pair Sam Greenwood. And I think he would be inclined to go for some value here. That's 600. 600K. So, Jamie, if you had jack high here, you might think this is good, right? Because king high would be a relatively easy call because king high has some showdown value. So, if you're betting, why are you betting? What I just learned is I'm going to be value betting you pretty light. Bring it.
you know it's the final table of a super high roller when you're in the tank with jack high and it's actually kind of close. Sam Trickett with over 12 million in chips, still our chip leader. Sam Greenwood and Stefan Sondheim are not too far behind. And Rafael Moraes is really looking for a double up. Feels like in the Remember, the next person out will get 50,000. And Goose looks down at King 10 of clubs in the small blind. Are the chances of a walk ever greater than zero at this point? Chances of our walk are less than zero for Huni right here. Cool. Sonheimer will just call it King Ten of Clubs. Interesting. And Big Huni, Queen Jack of Hearts here. I think King Ten of Clubs falls within Sonheimer's limp call range. All in. All in. Cool. All in and a call, Sontheimer really trapping there what would typically be a super light call, but hmm. these guys are high rollers and they play a lot together and have a lot of history. Eh. Well, there's a queen on the flop for Huni who pulls ahead. Got yeah. this club out there. The king would be nice, isn't it? Ooh. Oh, does not help. It's the wrong one. Eh. It's Sontheimer, but not the right card. And the river is the seven. So Big Huni doubles up to 41 big blinds here, still at 100, 200,000. Trickett and Big Huni, top two stacks. Meanwhile, Sontheimer and Morais bringing up the bottom with three and four million. Yeah, no. Nice. All in. Huni with the effective shove into his opponent, who has just under three Call. million, but has him dominated here with two eights. So nine eight suited versus the two eights of Rafael Moraes. King five three two diamonds. Always a sweat. Six. Turn them dead. Oh no. <laughs> Six of hearts. I needed it on the turn. This feels, this feels like a nine. Six of hearts. Not a diamond. Oh. I stepped up. Easy come, easy go. Two point nine. Two point eight seven five. A much needed double up there for Morais. Back up to about thirty big blinds. Fortune favors the bold, and even if you bust, there's kind of a lot to do here in Punta Cana. Don't they know there's beach volleyball and a foam party? Go big or go foam, I always say. I like all the things that Body Poker is doing for the poker community. The parties, the tournaments, the satellites. I just enjoy it. Light up this life of mine. This is what poker is all about. Yeah, just past the main today, and this is the best consolation prize ever. Like, I don't think I've ever been so happy to bust the tournament. Party poker here has been amazing. The poker, the party, and everything's been great. We're very happy I came. Love it. The people are beautiful. The weather's amazing. Party poker! Punta Cana, baby!
Welcome back to Poker Night in the Republic of Dominicana presents the Party Poker Caribbean Poker Party 25K Super High Roller. Here's a look at the current stacks. And that's where everyone stands. Let's get back to the action. I mean, to see what you were hustling around with, though. <laughs> I told you worse than what he had. Ace it off or something? No. I'm no, I wouldn't. I'm joking. I wouldn't, <laughs> wouldn't stuff that. I'm joking. Big Hooney looks down at Ace King, a real hand. He is deciding on an opening wager. Nice. 575. King Eight of Diamonds looks pretty, but it's got to go. 9-4 suited into the muck as well. Trick it. Eight deuce of clubs. So you have like six million, seven million now? Seven point two. It's a weird time to ask for a chip count. Getting a good price here in the big with suited jack six. Sam Greenwood does call. 1.5 in the middle. To the flop we go, heads up. Ace in the window, followed by six and a four. Both players pair up. Obviously, big Cooney ahead here with top top. Four fifty is the C bet, relatively small. Greenwood does have backdoor spades to go along with his middle pair. Greenwood getting a very reasonable price with a hand that is very live. To the turn we go. Jack of hearts. Greenwood takes the lead now with two pair. And I would have to imagine that this is a very disguised two pair. Big Huni taking into consideration the stack sizes of the shorter stacks, how he wants to build this pot. So Big Cooney goes with 1.25 million, building up the pot a bit, which is now at 3.6 million. All in. Greenwood shoves enough to put Big Cooney all in. How much do you have? 6.5. 6.5. How much do you have? 5.5. 3.9. Huni has to be feeling a little sick to his stomach with Sondheimer short with about 16 big blinds and Huni deciding whether or not to put himself at risk before Goose has to. Classic ICM conundrum. ICM, which stands for Independent Chip Model. Wow, big Huni with a monster fold. Might be the fold of the tournament. Three deuce of hearts. <laughs> Jack six. Jack six. Yeah, two pair. Yeah. Why would you? You promise, or you just lying? No, not a show. <laughs> you promise, or you just lying? <laughs> Is he just lying, right? <laughs> no, it's not. It's not exactly a good lie, though. Tell him he made a good fold. No, uh, he had two pair. I believe him. I thought he did at the time. You thought he had two pair too? At the time, yeah. I didn't have a fun one to show though. Yeah, yeah. Like if I had the six of hearts, I could have shown the six of hearts. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Four hearts. You wouldn't lie. To, you wouldn't lie when it's on stream, right? Like, yes. You don't seem like one that would lie about it. So. <laughs> Meanwhile, Sam Trickett looks down at Ace Jack suited in hearts, doing his best Jason Mraz impression with whatever that thing is on his head. He does like to just flat. Oh man. What would you have done, Goose? All in. All in. There's the shove from Sontheimer. Can't necessarily fault him, sitting on just under 16 bigs. It looks like Trickett's plan is coming together. All in. Base all in. Trap you again. 
felt like it. Yeah. <laughs> and Goose says felt like it. He kind of had his spidey sense tingling, but his hand was just too good not to make that move and try to pick up all that dead money. Oh, let's peer it. Let's peer it. <laughs> Four trait, eight, no help for Sontheimer. Oh, GG. Uh, Good game, buddy. Jack on the turn actually seals the deal. And the goose is cooked. So go hit the beach, Stefan Sontheimer. Continue to work on that tan. And goose will get $50,000 for his efforts. With the elimination of the deuced goose, Stefan Sontheimer, we are down to five. Sam Trickett, massive chip leader here with over 17 million. There's a reason why they didn't do it. But there's always what a big blind. No, but this random. What yeah, but if you move, you always move big blind to big blind. Yeah, what so what's the Less difference? People play, have to put chips into the pot too, so it's like, I understand why, but there's, there is a reason behind it. What happens if you have like less than one blind in the big blind in all your tournaments? Does it go to the anti post or the big blind post? Ace eight for Sam Trickett. He will open the action to 600,000. I think they should make you put the big blind before the anti. Would you say this discussion is anticlimactic? Yes. <laughs> or Ace four, Rafael Moraes. 350 to call. But like it's too good. We'll, you have to put in two yeah, hands. Yeah. I know, I'm just saying people would people would complain. Ace, tray seven, two spades. Check. Check. Trick it. 71% equity with the better kicker here. 600,000 is the continuation bet. Old players holding that ace. Marais makes the call. All standard to this point. 10 on the turn. Not as many chop opportunities here. Trick it's eight, still very much live. Check. Checks back. Seven on the river. Both players now playing just their ace. That's two pair aces sevens, and a 10 kicker. Check. Maurice does check again, and now trick it. I think would be wise to bet. Probably. Curious what his thought process is. It is a very small pot. Mostly pretty easy for the though. There's only 10 big boys in that pot, and he moves all in sizing up his opponent for exactly what he has and trying to get him to fold the chop. I think the way that Moraes played this hand, he, he kind of has to call. If you're going to defend your ace and check call and then have it go check, check, I think you have to assume you're always going to be facing a river bet here. And he lets it go. Well played by Trickett. He takes all of the chips instead of half. Showing us how he has several million dollars in earnings. And Sam Trickett's dominance continues. He's got 17 million. The next closest stack, Sam Greenwood with 10 million. And then now we're down to three kind of short stacks. Mateo saw some playability with 7.5 million. Moraes and Hunichin, though, are definitely looking for a hand to double up with. Two fours here for Rafael Moraes. Sitting on a shove stack of just 13, 14 big, something in that department. All in. All in. All in is the amount, 3.5. Ace Jack suited has been quite nice for Sam Trickett thus far at this final table. 355. Just a flat call. The Cooney is looking for something pretty. It's just deuce four. Murray sees that one of his fours are dead. Gives a little bit of a sad face. So Trickett, the statistical favorite, seeing that dead four. Board is ace, jack, king. Two pair for Trickett. <laughs> <laughs> Queen. If you still hit it here, man, that'd be the sickest. 
Marais is going to be looking for the last four in the deck, the four of hearts. It's not the four of hearts, it's the five of hearts. It's close in the same way that all cards are close to other cards. And Marais finishes in fifth place, taking home $75,000. And then there were four. The next payout is 110000 And again, 400 k up top to first. Trick it under the gun, first to act. Four, six. Uh-oh, he's getting frisky. Guys, 725. Two deuces for Big Hooney. Mucks the deuces. I actually kind of like that fold. Chris, be careful when you're uh, folding like that. OK. Thank you. Ace 10 for Mateos. We'll defend the big blind. King Jack 5. Broadway draw for Mateos. Nothing for Trickett. He quickly checks back. Ace on the turn. Mateus now has the hand locked up. Check. Checks again. It's a good card for Trickett to stab at. Being the pre-flop raiser, I expect him to. 600K is the delayed C bet. And Mateos makes the call. River, the eight of clubs, does not change the texture of this board. Mateos checks again. To trick it, who will have to bet if he wants to win this hand. 1.8, and Mateos nearly beats him into the pot. Well played, well done. More pokers from the Super High Roller after this. Welcome back, televised poker demographic. Thank you for sweating the action with Jamie and me here all night at the Party Poker Caribbean Poker Party. And the Trick It Show continues. He's got 18 million chips. Mateo's creeping up with 10.6 million, Greenwood sitting on 9.5, and Hunichin still are short stacked despite putting up a pretty good fight with 4.6 million. Each player is locked up $110,000, but keep in mind, third place pays 165, so that's an extra $55,000. Great math skills, Jesse. Thank you, I really actually almost got that wrong. <laughs> Five deuce of clubs for Big Hooney. And he says check. He says run it. Ten deuce seven. Big Hooney outflops Greenwood. Check. Hooney now betting his pair of deuces. Greenwood exploring the options of how to navigate this hand. And Greenwood decides to check raise to 850. Perhaps thinking about how many good turn cards there'll be for him to barrel. Huni's in a tough spot. Every chip that he puts in the middle is just so valuable to his stack. Three of hearts on the turn. It's not one of those barrel cards that I was talking about. A nine, a six, something to give him a gutter ball, a diamond, it just doesn't come home and he wisely decides to check. Check. Queen of clubs on the river. Greenwood really needs to think about this now. 
kind of gave up just a little bit on the turn. Now he's thinking about all the combinations that would have had backdoor draws that float that can represent having a queen in them, possibly. That's 500,000. When you find yourself on the river with eight high, uh, you're going to have to work some magic to win this pot. I don't think 500k, about 20% pot bet, is going to do it here. Huni's a sticky human being. I don't think any bet was actually going to work here, but I do applaud Greenwood for sizing up a bluff designed to look like a value bet. Cold. Is that nothing? Yes. And you can tell by Huni's response here that he kind of feels silly putting in the 500. He thinks he's adding the 500k right to Greenwood's stack, so it did almost work. Lines are going up now to 175 and 350k, and of course, that button will post the ante of 175. Cool. Sam Greenwood, king six suited, just limps. Tails with the option, five deuce. Ace-10, Trey, wheel draw for Mateos, king high for Greenwood. King high often good here. 350? 350 is the bet from Greenwood. I think Mateos may peel here. Nine of hearts on the turn. Check. Mateos checks again. Check. Mateos has to bet. It sucks, but he just has to. Mateos carves out 1.3 million, and all of a sudden, king high doesn't seem that good. This is what makes the elite players so much better than the good players. Mateos is scrapping for every pot. This pot is small. This is about a five big blind pot, and he said, I have to win this pot. Seize the hand. Carpe dealum. <laughs> Cooney tosses 10-7 away. Mateos out as well, over to the blinds. Trickett will raise the Brunson up to 800K. Greenwood, Queen 7. Barely, just barely defendable. Ace for Trey. It's like this one fly that just keeps flying all around there. Wheel draw for Trickett. Trickett continues with the 10 deuce and does get it through, taking it down. Four players left. Sam Trickett, still our chip leader, but Adrian Mateos hot on his tail, just three million behind. Like five four. Five four. I have five four twenty five. Uh oh. -uh. The more I think about Sam Greenwood's choice of attire, the more I like it. I think that he decided he wasn't going to party. He wasn't going to be on the beach. He was going to win a few hundred K. Do you not feel how hot it is in here? It is sweltering. Rolling. Maybe it's a test of will. He's saying, I don't care. My hand hair is dripping sweat. Big Hooney wakes up with two kings. Supposed to show me king queen. Am 
No. So far, so good. I'm rooting for Sam more than Sam's rooting for Sam. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> for sure. You're all rooting for me. Just one more brick. All right. Big double up for Hooney. And he's just been treading water for a long time. He's had to put himself at risk to win just a couple big ones at a time to stay afloat. And finally, he's got some chips to play with. Not sure anyone else here at the table liked that redistribution of chippage. Adrian Mateos is now our chip leader with 14 million. Trick is still a healthy stack, 11.8. And Hunichin right on his heels with 10.9. Greenwood, the short stack, which is under 6 million. And the next player eliminated here will take 110 grand back to their cabana for the rest of the week. Here in beautiful Punta Cana at the Party Poker Caribbean Poker Party. Looks like Sam Greenwood is sizing up. All in. And all in for 5.95 million. Trickett looks down. Those are two sevens. How much is that? Cost him about half his stack. Back in my prime, would have got him. <laughs> oh. Makes the call. Flipping, racing. Flips for stacks. Classic. Always the queen of diamonds here. Always. Three diamonds. Ugh. Oh my god. Insurance. Oh my god. <laughs> insurance. I'll, I'll take insurance. Insurance. Too. Insurance. You just pull it right back. Not on the river. No. 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 <laughs> that one hurt like a kidney shot. There it is. Big double up for Sam Greenwood. Blinds are now up to 200K, 400K, and of course the button will post the small blind ante of 200K. All in. Nice one. So Mateo shoves his pocket sevens for a 25 and change big blind effective shove. Trickett with the ace eight of clubs now has a decision on his hands. Oh. Okay. They know what I got here on TV. Oh. Ah. My turn to win one. <laughs> Just flipping for 15 million in chips. Oh boy. Nine six. Should have gone with it. Trick it pulls ahead. Mateos can't be happy there. Holding the nine six. Red deuce on the turn. Trick it doubles up through Adrian Mateos, who's probably a little pissed he made that call. I'm here with Sam and Mika Trickett. This is a special week for you guys. Tell me why. Because um, we brought uh, my mum and dad here um, as a present to say thank you for helping us with the wedding. So um, I don't know if it's special or painful. I'm not too sure. <laughs> She's enjoying it way less than me. It's always the how worst. about you, Sam? It's always the worst when you bring your own parents because you're like really worried what they, how they come across and what they're doing. And she, they seem to be like irritating her. But like, I think they're great. They're great company. And what's best about a mum? She's the mum with like no filter. So she just says whatever she wants to say, like regardless who it is and any. So she's you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's inappropriate, so it's ace for me. It's like brilliant entertainment. So uh, she was like three, four months in advance, like all plans done, and it made it that I was able to like relax and enjoy it, the build up and everything like that. And it was like I said at the time, we'll take you away on holiday to like to say thank you, and this is it. Yeah, I thought why where better to go. Welcome back, I'm Jesse Abramowitz alongside Jamie Kerstetter and we are filling in for Joe Stapleton and Chris Hansen. We know coming to Punta Cana is a big ask, but we were happy to lend a hand. 
still four-handed play here. Sam Trickett, Big Hooney, and Sam Greenwood all over 10 million, while Adrian Mateos brings up the bottom, which is 5.4 million. The next one out is $110,000. 400K still remains up top for the winner. I'll just double. I'm on. Nice one. All in for Mateus. Pulling. There's the reshove. And Huni snap calls with Queens in a great spot to knock out Mateos and take a huge chunk out of Trickett stack. Well, it's better than I thought it was. How much do you have? <laughs> Mateos can't believe the position he's in. Just hands a go, he was the chip leader and now He's gotten it in good with sevens, and he was the first to shove it in with fives, and he's on the brink of elimination. Big on, then they need an ace. Maybe I should fold them up. Hooney is giddy, awaiting the river. It's a 10. You got me covered, right? That is a massive pot for Big Hooney as we lose Adrian Mateos in fourth place. He will take home $110,000, but I don't think he's too happy about it at the moment. I think he had his eye on the prize. Good game, buddy. And with that massive hit to his stack, Trickett is down to only four big blinds, and he's going to need a miracle to get back in this game. And we're three-handed now. The next payout is 165K. Still three players vying for the prize of $400,000. How much do you have, Sam? Uh, 1.6 total. All in. Where's one? Hooney with queen six. Trick it. King deuce. It's a must call with four bigs there. I have king two versus queen six. Queen on the flop, trick it halfway out the door. Ten of diamonds. Some diamonds on there. There's a pair. Gonna need better than that though to stay alive. When you hit the wrong one, it seems like you never get. Well, there, well let me know? just slow down. Let me let me look first. I'll look with you. Now this way. <laughs> ah, good game, buddy. Good game. Good game. <laughs> So Sam Trickett out in third. He will take home $165,000, and that leaves us with two, which means we are heads up. Chris Hunichin has $33 million versus Sam Greenwood's $9.8 million. Blinds are still 200, 400K. There is no ante in play. Heads up. 400K to first, 242 to second. And if you're wondering how those stacks Translate to big blinds. Hunichin's got about 82, whereas Greenwood's on about 25. Check. But 500? So simple. Bet and take there on the flop for Huni. So Greenwood limps the button with ace four off. Hunichin checks. See a flop of king five four. Check, check. Five on the turn. Time to start building a pot if you're holding trip fives here, Hunichin. And Greenwood, you don't check that back there on the flop without the intention of calling a bet on the turn or perhaps betting it yourself. Oh. Pairs are good, heads up. How about quads? Quads are pretty good, heads up, three-handed, six-handed. But not in Bond movies. 1.8 in the middle. That's about one and a half million. 
Quads. Quads. <laughs> I like the look. Quads. Stare down. Big Huni holds the big chip advantage, trying to close out one of the most resilient players in the world, Sam Greenwood. Greenwood with 10-4 off on the button. Oh. Decides it's playable enough in limps. Got Hunichin with the king-9 suited who just checks. I was expecting a jam there. We have Jack-10-4, something for everyone. Greenwood flops two pair, and Hunichin flops the gutter ball, over card, backdoor flush draw. Both of them have to like this flop. It's hard to flop two pair with 10-4. It's probably just about as easy as it is to flop two pair with any other cards. I didn't ask you. And the king on the turn, Hunichin's loving it, not knowing that he's behind. What amount will Greenwood come up with? There's 1.6 out there. Pot's still small for the moment. But two million? He overbets the pot for two million. I wish I knew what Huni is thinking because this is an odd spot. You turn top pair, you still have a gut shot, and you've been faced with an overbet in a limped pot. Oh. oh, and another king on the river for Hunichin. And he checks it. Sam Greenwood gets the bad news. He has dwindled down to about six million chips. Man, I was hoping, I was hoping you were jamming it. I had bottom two. Bottom two? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so Greenwood, just over 10 big blinds. He's on life support here in critical poker condition. And Hunichin, with another good button hand, wakes up with ace five off. All in. Ace one. He jams and Greenwood with sixes, snap calls. And Greenwood at risk, but with the best of it, really needs to double up here. Never easy. No. Uh. Okay. <laughs> He needs an ace or a three to become the new champion. Ooh. It is the three, which means Chris Big Huni Hunichin will win the title and $400,000 here at the 25K Super High Roller. Sam takes home $242,750 for his runner-up finish. Congratulations, Big Huni, champion of the 2017 Party Poker Caribbean Poker Party 25K Super High Roller. He was just a regular Huni before this $400,000 score. Is that why girls still call you Small Jesse? I wish girls called me. For everyone here at Poker Night in America, I'm Jamie Kerstetter. And I'm Jesse Abramowitz. Until next time, deuces.